Investigators are expected to finish processing the crime scene in Annapolis, Maryland today. They're still working to figure out what sparked a gunman to open fire in the newsroom of a community newspaper yesterday. Five people were killed and three others injured. CBS's Kenneth Craig is live there in Indianapolis for us this morning. Kenneth. Well, Karen, good afternoon to you. During a news conference that wrapped not too long ago, the police chief made a pretty chilling comment. He said this gunman went inside the newspaper building not too far from where I'm standing to, quote, kill as many people as possible. Overnight, police collected even more evidence they found linking this man to his plan. 38-year-old Jared Ramos is charged with five counts of first-degree murder. Ramos is accused of opening fire at the Capitol Gazette newspaper in Annapolis Thursday afternoon. Investigators say he entered the building carrying smoke bombs, flash grenades, and a shotgun and headed straight for the newsroom. Journalists dove under their desks to take cover. This guy was holding what looked like a big shotgun and, and moving uh, across the entrance of the Capitol Gazette office, pointing the gun deeper into the office like he was uh, targeting people. Police say Ramos targeted the Capitol because of a long standing feud. He sued the newspaper for defamation in 2012. The paper published a story about Ramos pleading guilty to harassing a woman he went to high school with. The case was later dismissed, with the judge saying Ramos does not appear to have learned his lesson. I don't think that you can say the police should have done more. We had one incident that's documented with us. Just hours after the shooting, several Capitol staff members were seen working in a nearby garage. And today, the Capitol published its regular morning paper. Inside, you can see the opinion page was intentionally left blank to honor the victims. It says, today, we are speechless. Those victims include John McNamara, who was a sports reporter and the author of two books. He was working on a third about basketball. Features writer Wendy Winters was a mother of four. Her daughter says she believed in never acting or admitting her age. A GoFundMe page created by a fellow journalist already has raised more than $100,000 for funeral costs. And Ramos's threats against this newspaper were well documented on social media dating back to 2013. But with the exception of a post back in 2013, police said just a short time ago they weren't aware of any of the other posts until last night.